you know, you go through this world and, um, you know, you come across a lot of people. And I think one of the saddest things that, that we hear people say is, it's okay, I'm used to it. Because it's never a good thing. And what you don't quite realize that goes through their head when they utter the words, I'm used to it. The stupidity that I know I feel when I have to say, should have known better. Like, <laughs> I should have known better. I'm, I'm used to this. Like, I'm used to it. I don't know why I thought this would be any different. Or why that would be any different. I'm used to it. There's also the, you know, somebody says, I'm sorry. And you're like, it's okay. And they're like, no, it's not. And you know that they're going to keep doing what they do. They're going to keep apologizing for the same thing. And you're going to say, it's okay. And they're going to say, no, it's not. And then you get to feeling like, I'm used to it. I'm used to this dynamic of being told sorry and seeing no effort to change it. And of course, having rejection sensitive dysphoria, I figure I am not worth the change. It's not worth it to, to do the work so that a person doesn't have to say they're sorry to me for whatever they've done or failed to do. And I don't like the word sorry. I mean, it is a necessary word. And I do, you know, like if, if I come to somebody with a problem and say, hey, what you just said caused me to feel upset. A sorry at that point, sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. That's an okay sorry. You know, because I, I think generally people don't want to upset you. Generally, they want good interactions with people and they don't want to upset you. But when you hear sorry so much that you get to the point of saying, I'm used to it. That sorry. You almost want to scream. Don't say you're sorry. I'm used to it. And it actually offends me. It actually offends me to hear sorry when you know that the behavior is not going to change, when you know there is not going to be the effort to do better. That sorry is empty. They may as well say, sorry, not sorry. Um, and, you know, I think there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things going on in this world where people are saying, I'm tired of being used to some things. And that, that goes across a lot of different movements, like even the Black Lives Matter. They're basically, you know, when that started, it was, hey, tired of feeling like used to this, you know, used to being treated like a criminal. Um, you know, people with tattoos, they're used to being judged as less than, depending on the tattoos and, and who's talking to them. And, you know, there's so much judgment and there's so much rejection and there's so much trauma and damage that gets done to us. 
and and people just like I believe they care. I do believe that they care. And sometimes they care enough about whoever they have an issue with. They care enough to change. They care enough to fight for that person instead of fighting with them. They care enough to go against what they've made somebody feel used to. They care enough to listen to somebody when they say, I'm used to it. And then they make a promise to themselves to say, I'm not going to do that to that person. Because those are, I think those of us who say, I'm used to it, whether it's, um, you know, you go out in public and people say things because you're a certain way. You know, maybe, maybe you're a bigger girl, maybe you're trans, um, you know, and people will say things, insulting things, and you say, I'm used to it. Those people, the people who say I'm used to it, you can bet that they're not out there doing the same thing because we know what it's like to be used to these things that hurt us. And we don't want to put that on someone else. Um, you know, that's, I think that's, that's one of the reasons why, like, when people do things and I get hurt and I say, well, I'm used to it. Um, I can't hate them. They're not the first person to, to do what they do. Probably won't be the last person. And of course... I am such a screwed up individual that losing the goodness that I see in them, like I will see so much goodness in a person that I will accept the rot. I have rot in me. Everybody has some rot. Um, and, and it's really unhealthy to to keep saying, oh, but there's so much good to them because it's like I saw a thing and they said if if they are messing with your mental health, they are not worth it. They are not worth your time. Do not let somebody mess with your mental health. Um if if you cry more than you laugh, you know, like I, I know, I know so many things. But getting brain, heart, and gut to agree on, on being smart and being guarded. Like there are just certain things that, that I just, I, I can't see myself being guarded. I can't see myself dismissing people like that. I just, I just can't, I guess, because I have been dismissed so easily and I am used to being dismissed so easily. So I try to see beyond the stuff that everybody says is wrong with them, the stuff that they've heard their whole life, the stuff they're used to. Um, obviously, I, I don't I don't mess around with with people who are struggling with active drug or alcohol addictions because that's just some, that's, that's drama that I know I don't want. I can't fix that. And I don't want to be around people who are in, in their drunk or screwed up state. But as far as the mental stuff goes, I won't discount those people automatically. And unfortunately, I get invested and I can't stop myself from it. And it's one of the things I hate. And then at the end, I say, you know, I don't know why I thought this would be any different. I'm used to this. Why did I think things would be different? <laughs> they never are. 